So this question says square X has a side length of 12 centimeters. So I'm going to start off by using strategy plugin picture. I'm going to draw my square. I'm not sure if it's important to you yet, but as a force of habit, I like to do this. Anytime a question describes something that can be drawn, I like to draw it. Of course, this is a square, so all these guys would be 90 degree angles. The next sense is the perimeter of square Y. Okay, so this is square X. The perimeter of square Y is two times the perimeter of square X. Okay, so that means I have square Y, which is larger. And if it's two times the perimeter of square X, basically that just means every side is twice the size of square X. So these are all 24s. What is the length in centimeters of one side of square Y? Well, we just answered that question. It must be 24, and the answer is choice D. I guess I should have said, well, what's the perimeter of square X, which would just be 12 times 4? which is 48, because perimeters means the sum of all the sides added up. So I just did 12 times 4. Um, and therefore, the perimeter of y should be 96, because it's 48 times 2. And then I would have said, well, if the perimeter of square y is 96, then what is 96 divided by 4? And we would have found that that is equal to 24, right? which is how we get there. So even if you had follow truly how the question was worded and went to the perimeter first for, for square x, then the perimeter for square y, and then kind of divide by 4 to figure out what each individual side is equal to, we get to 24 anyway.